Leadership can be intense. That's okay. We have tents for you. <laughs> I'm Naya. And I'm Abigail. We're Karen Leadership Strategies. We develop business leaders through outdoor adventure. We're super excited to start this new series where we dive into all 12 of our core competencies. Don't worry, one at a time. And we're gonna talk about the research behind them, why we do them outside, how we practice them outside, and give you some useful tips and maybe some laughs too. You can take this seriously. Outdoor adventure means business. So Abigail, why do we go outside? What's so important about that? Well, we know from the research that it makes people happier, more creative, and more fulfilled. And if a leader is all of those things, you can imagine what it's going to do for the organization. And the research, again, points to the benefits, not only from a health perspective, but from key leadership competencies we know are going to drive results. Yeah, I mean, even if everything we did was terrible, which it's not, people are so much healthier with time outside. You think about vitamin D, the research is compelling. Like three days outdoors and your white blood cell count goes up for a month. Immunity, we could all use a little bit more of that Seems for important. sure. Yeah. And all the reduction of stress that happens when you do spend time in the forest, in the trees, or just in the desert, it doesn't matter. What matters is that time outside reduces your blood pressure by 12%. And even the, you can sleep better, for instance. We know that you get a better night's sleep and your cognitive performance boosts. What was that memory study? Yeah, 20% better memory. People who walked outside like in an urban setting versus an outdoor setting, 20% better short-term memory. I should go outside so I can remember it next yeah. time. <laughs> Maybe we should go outside right now, actually. <laughs> the potency of outdoors is inarguable yeah i laugh at the number of executives i talk to and they they say i wish i could go outside more that sounds so nice and it's like just take someone outside the leaders stay more humble and the organization can function without you yeah that is true leadership harvard business review defines leadership as improving an organization or a place in such a manner that when you leave it continues to improve i love working with leaders who rock climb and they just scamper up, you know, power climb up, and then you say, okay, let go of the rope. And there's this awkward silence, like, wait, I'm gonna let go? Like, just trust this thing? <laughs> it's the best. And I think that's a big moment for people. If more leaders spent more time outside, they'd be happier, healthier, more creative. But I think there's a lot more to what we do mm. and why it's powerful. Uh, you know, we take people on these wonderful adventures, but they're packed full of learning opportunities, teachable moments. Uh, for example, when you're rock climbing, communication matters a lot. Like if I think I'm on belay and you're not belaying me, that's a life and death situation. So you have this opportunity with guides who are certified to keep you safe uh, to play with that communication and see what works for you, for your team, for the people that you work with. And uh, that's really important. You know, maybe you can't feel comfortable practicing that at work. Come outside, you can practice it. And I love how those roles get dissolved when a, a leader gets to be belayed by an employee and that trust, the status dissolves away for a moment where they can recognize each other as people and communicate on a human level that translates back into the office. I think decision making is huge too. Like how many people have come out with us with some big life decision or critical business decision that they've been working on for you know, months, maybe even years. And I think one CEO in particular is sitting on this rock in Joshua Tree and it's just this beautiful, awe-inspiring panorama. And he had been struggling with this decision for a long time. He walked away and had a clear way forward. So it's not just time outside, it's this intentional moments and these sequence of events that really sets leaders up to guarantee where we can guarantee that you're going to come away with objective takeaways that you can apply right away. Yeah, I mean, people often ask, you know, we're young, what do we know about leadership? How do we come up with these competencies? How do you know these are the ones that are important? What would you say? 
we, between the two of us, have 50 years of mistakes, I mean, <laughs> experience <laughs> teaching at the Naval Academy, UC San Diego, coming from a background of research in adult development and experiential learning, developing programs for the United States Navy. So we're not coming out of the woodwork. We've really done our homework and lived, seen how teams respond to the things we're teaching, refined it, and come back with a sequence of events, our 48 hour weekends that we offer people so that it's, it's pretty tried and true. How many people have we taken outside now? Taken over a hundred people on over 20 adventures now, which is pretty amazing. And we are a learning organization. So every time we go out, we get a little bit better. We learn a little bit more. We hear what leaders need today. It's not a static. Every good leader I've yeah. ever met said, I'm still reading, I'm still learning, I'm still trying to figure this thing out. So. You know, the, the model that we've set up with Crux Society, the, the opportunity to go out on these really cool adventures with amazing people. I mean, 99 of them, no, actually all 100 have been really great. Uh, this opportunity, repeat, repeating every you know three to six months and having a coach uh, to talk through, you know, what did I learn? How am I gonna apply it? And, and hold you accountable. Because that's what, where the rubber meets the road. And what I think is so cool and accessible about what we do is we custom fit a solution that fits based on your availability and based on your needs for your team. So we can bring leaders out, offer coaching for part of it, and then you can get outside for part of it and bring your team out for part of it. We're nimble and that's one of our... <laughs> Wimbly nimbly, I like that. <laughs> we should work that into our marketing. It's 100% it's customized every time. We give people the research, the tools, the tips, uh, to become better leaders, to practice where they are and where they want to go, uh, and good coaching. We ask powerful questions. And we know you have to do the hard work in between when you see us to really make the impact last, but we'll set you up for success. I love uh, to share, you know, how people use this. And I think about one of our CEOs on her first uh, Crux Adventure climbing. Can you tell that story of, of shifting weight? Yeah, that was super powerful. So she's a CEO of a company. She has this opportunity to move into another role. Somebody's asking if she'll come and build this other team, but she doesn't want to let go of what she's built and her role and her team that is still succeeding. And so she comes out first time rock climbing outside and she shifts her weight and she recognizes through the guides down below saying, you have to shift your weight fully onto that second foot. She says, I can't reach, I don't know. And they just encourage her, go for it. And she does, she makes this move. And because we've been talking about business objectives the whole time, she comes down, she winds down and she said, that's it. That's what I have to do. I have to fully shift my weight onto this next foot without fully knowing what that handhold is gonna be in order to truly make progress and bring my weight fully into this new role. And that's the only way I'm gonna really find out what will work and if I can make it. Put our hands on something yes. real so that we can actually let it stick and sink into our bones. So tips for leaders, how do you get outside more? I mean, I would say walk around the block. I think people think, well, I have to go backpacking and that's too hard. Just walk to a local park and have lunch in a meeting, uh, particularly if you're talking about something like strategy, uh, bigger, heavier topics, just go outside and do it. We can build in options for the people that we're going to meet with so that the expectation is we're going to get outside. And you can make it work for you in your culture based on what environment is available to you. You really get to know, I mean, our job interview at Karen Leadership Strategies is taking people multi-pitch climbing. so. You get to know people way faster on a deeper level. And how they handle stress. If you're in an air conditioned room, hand somebody a hot coffee, of course they're gonna tell you what you wanna hear. You put them under stress with bugs and uncertainty and see how they really perform. It's going to expedite the process of getting to know the people that you need to, if they're gonna be on your team or if you're gonna work with them in any capacity that matters. So I'm excited to dive into all these competencies over the next months, year, we have so many. There's so much to learn as leaders. <laughs> it's endless. Endless, <laughs> which is great. It's an adventure, a journey. Yeah, we're excited to be here with you and share 
more about what we know and to get feedback from you about what you're learning along the way. Well, let's get outside and get to work. Get to work. Chop, chop.